we learn and we perceive the things in this world according to the instrument we use. If our instrument is good and accurate, we get a good assessment of the world around us. If it's poor, we begin with a poor understanding. And then, of course, we must participate in it. We must, from what we understand, what we see, what we hear, what we perceive, we have to then start to live it. Today's gospel speaks about that. We had a parishioner, we have a parishioner, she's in a nursing home, and she was losing her hearing over the years. And I remember one time I said to her, Natalia, did you hear that? She says, Father, I haven't heard anything in 10 years. And I thought, and she said, and I, it just startled me that we can go through life and not understand. The gospel starts out and says, if your eye, the instrument you use to see, is not good, you will not really see what you need to see. Our souls are not well. Our souls are corrupted. Our souls have been damaged. And they do not receive the message that God is sending. And therefore we merrily go on living lives that are absolutely contrary to the gospel. But we don't get it because we don't see it and we don't hear it. But we chose, we chose not to hear. <laughs> We chose to use an instrument that was broken. I had a cousin, and she was a young girl, and she was uh, slightly on the vain side. I know it's hard to believe that someone could be vain. But she did not want to wear glasses, because she saw glasses before contact lenses. And she thought that glasses were hideous, therefore she wasn't going to wear them. And she was not able to see things. And she'd be, you know, feeling around trying to find things. And she was a young woman. She couldn't see things, but she would not buy glasses. And finally one day, it got to the point she was driving and she almost killed herself and somebody else. And she realized either she has to stop driving or she has to get glasses. So she got glasses. And she came out of the doctor's office with glasses on and she was shocked that what she'd been seeing every day, actually the tree actually had leaves on it and she could see the leaves. She said, oh my God, there are individual leaves on that tree. And she was amazed, she just she saw it like a, I guess like a spruce, just a big thing out there that was green, and all of a sudden it all had little individual leaves. We look at the spiritual life without our spiritual glasses, and we don't see. And so we do, and we say things that continue to destroy us, and we do nothing about it. Just recently, I got, I got a phone call from someone who was in the hospital. And they asked me to come see them, and I said, I'm upstate. I can come on the weekend. They said, we don't know if it's going to be long enough. They're, they're going to last that long. They're in bad shape. And I said, what happened? And they said that all this time, the person was not feeling well, but felt it was because they weren't taking care of themselves correctly and ignored it. And had cancer everywhere and had metastasized and thought that he was very large and bloated because he was just eating too much. But he really wasn't eating too much. But he didn't want to live with the reality that something could be wrong. When he finally went to the doctor, the doctor said, just go home and rest. There's nothing we can do. And so he only had a little time to go. And I called back on Thursday saying I was going to be there in the evening. They said he died this morning. Are we letting ourselves go to the point that we are going to die? And when we die, it is going to be too late. This is the only time you have to make any changes. This is the only time you have to get serious about what it's all about. And it all comes so quickly. There are not many of you here, I don't think there's anybody as old as I am, but there are many of you who are old. And you look around and you think, I'm gonna be here forever. No, you're not. And the end comes very quickly, very quickly. So don't waste your time. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That means not only seeking the kingdom of God, but living according to what the Lord requires for you to attain the kingdom of God. And everything else will be given to you. Why are you so worried? Why are we so worried about money, about health, 
about all the things we think about and the things that we can actually do something about that we pay no attention to whatsoever. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything else will be given to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.